and I am building a tool that uh, finds dependencies name and put those dependencies, dependencies name in a resource manifest. And what, does, what do I mean by this? So I have a, a static portfolio website and I want this web app to load really, really fast. And fortunately, I came across this technology called HTTP, HTTP to server push. And it loads website really, really quickly because it reduces the unnecessary round trips between server and browsers. So traditionally, it is up to a browsers um, that dis to discover dependencies, but it requires a lot of round trips uh, because every dependencies has its own dependencies that has its own dependencies and that has its own dependencies. So it's just like, oh, results in a lot of round trips. But with HTTP to push, um, server push, um, um, server can, we can reduce, we can eliminate all these round trips because server can discover uh, dependencies its own. It has all the files locally and it can check locally all those dependencies names. Um, so, but server doesn't know anything. So we as a developer have to tell server, hey, these are dependencies file names. Um, so before jumping in, I want to describe, I want to show you some examples of dependencies names in that we can add to a resource manifest. So this is uh, index.html from my portfolio site. You see main.css and um, some image file. These are two dependencies to index.html. And this one is, uh, let's say, three dependencies in a style CSS. And these are like many dependencies, JavaScript file dependencies on script.js. So these are uh, dependencies name that we can add to a uh, resource manifest. Um, resource manifest. Um, but now to benefit so, so to benefit from uh, fast web loading using HTTP push, we want to write a resource manifest with this uh, dependencies names. So, the, but the, the problem is that these are very tedious process. Uh, imagine I put 100 images files to my index HTML. That means that I have to go back to manifest.js and uh, I have to go back to manifest file and uh, these are tea time image or brunch image. These are like 100 times, these are very tedious. And the, we, the, this is a space for improvement. We can, we can automate this process. So the solution is that we can parse through these files and then find dependencies name, automatically find dependencies names. So the parsers I used are following. So for HTML, I use HTML parsers too. For CSS, I use CSS tree. And for JavaScript, I use Acorn. You can find, you can find them on GitHub. And and then all these parsers share, um, share commonalities. They turn my source code into a tree. And then each node are the constructs in a source code. So let me give you an example in CSS. So body, background URL, and import URL, these are two constructs. And I can, I can visit this URL by um, using this concept called visitor. What visitor does is that we describe which specific, so I can visit it either of this by indicating which specific nodes I want to visit. So for instance, um, CSS. So CSS parser turn my source code into a tree and then I can walk the tree and then visit a specific, let's say, import URL. I want the dependency name of font awesome CSS. Then I can visit it by you know, using if statement like a node type is add rule and the node name is import. So it would retrieve the uh, dependencies name of import URL. So I did it for not only for the, my CSS file, but also my index HTML and script as uh, JavaScript file as well. So I succeeded, I think, I hope. <laughs> um, so takeaway is that HTML, um, so HTTP to push is really cool technology and uh, I f what's next is that I just finished my first part of retrieving all those dependencies name, but then now what I need to do is um, generate, automatically generate resource manifest that includes all those dependencies names so that we can enjoy the fast you know, web loading with HTML, HTTP2 server push. So thankfully, uh, I have a friend, my friend generated, uh, he built another component that uh, that automatically generate resource um, 
manifest by using my project. I, I call it Sherlock because it detects all the dependencies name. <laughs> so, so with Sherlock and with Sherlock and his contribution, now we can optimize the other unnecessary round trip automatically, uh, which is really exciting. Um, so, if any developers are interested in um, exploring HTTP to push and um, you know faster web loading using this, then very exciting. And this is under the free, a very meaningful uh, free and open source project called Common Host. So Common Host is a next generation, next generation content development uh, de delivery network project, um, and that allows web loading much faster, even in a very remote area, uh, without a big server center. Uh, so and then I find this very meaningful because I say it's a next generation because. Um, I, as a private individual, not as a big server center, can also contribute to a faster web loading by hosting a mini, mini, mini server. So I think I, I kind of fall in love with it and I really enjoy it. And then so now I'm part of it. So, so I hope that you also in find it interesting. And thank you for your attention. And then, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, hello. Um, so first is what happened when uh, the dependency has a loop in there? Oh. And secondly, how do you deal with like, the dynamic website where, um, how do you deal with, second is how do you deal with dynamic web pages where um, your dependency tree will change with uh, different oh. jobs? Oh, can I talk to you after the, <laughs> after the video? <laughs> yeah. So yeah. So uh, yeah. Let me think about it and then get back to you. Okay. So thank you. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Oh. Yeah. No. So uh, sorry. I, I, I might not be in tune. So when you say HTTP two, are you talking about HTTP <coughs> protocol two? Yes. But then it has this yeah server push feature, and then there's no like uh, standardized standardized way to do it. And then uh, my friend came up with the format, and I just and I said, oh, that's really interesting. So let me help you out. So. Yeah. So, what servers are available out there that uses HTTP two as a protocol? Oh, hmm. Let, can I get back to you later? <laughs> okay, because I'm so I'm almost like six month baby coder, and then my help friend been like helping me, and then like I'm very very excited to be part of this project. So, but then I need to study a lot, and this is a great question. I will look forward to learning more about it. Thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah.